Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about the Bondi ukulele. A while back ago, I did an unboxing of this ukulele, but I hadn't updated you on how the ukulele is doing. So that's what we are doing in this video. But first, if you would like to learn how to play ukulele from scratch, see song tutorials, product reviews, and unboxings, then subscribe to this channel. Let's start by talking about the accessories. The accessories that come with the instrument are all magnificent. I really do love that it comes with everything that a beginner would need. And I would show them in this video, but because I teach beginners and they've purchased ukuleles that didn't come with the accessories, I have given the accessories away. So I'm sorry I don't have them, but I can tell you they've been put to use and they were actually needed by other people who didn't buy the Bondi set who needed them. I did, however, keep the gig bag because I've traveled with this uke. I took this ukulele with me to India. So I can tell you that this size was um, the kind that you can carry on with you because nobody stopped and complained or told me that it was too big. So I love that. And I took four flights on my vacation when I took it to India. So I had four opportunities to be stopped and told that this was too big. None of the times I was stopped. I decided to take this ukulele because it was the most lightweight ukulele in my collection. That also speaks to the gig bag. The gig bag is super light. I also like that the gig bag is really unique looking. So whenever there were like several bags, I can spot my ukulele really quickly. I was able to put the ukulele under the seat in front of me or also when we were about to fly, I just put it next to me because I didn't want the flight attendant to tell me to put it on top. I was afraid that somebody else would put their bag on top of my uke. So I put it right here. I don't know if it looked like a blanket or a pillow having it on the side here. I had a window seat. But uh, no one told me to put it on top. I, did, I really did not want to put it on top. Bondi Ukuleles has launched new gig bags and they are to die for. Honestly, like I want to buy the watermelon one. They have really cute ones. So I'll link to their Instagram and to their website down below so you can check them out. Seriously, just go check them out. I haven't seen anybody do gig bags the way that they've done them. Even this was really unique, but their new ones just knocked it out of the park. So good job, Bondi. I love the creativity. So yes, the gig bag was great. It does have two straps, they're adjustable. I used this this way, like I was carrying like my backpack. I didn't take a suitcase, I just took a backpack. And I had this on the side, so that was really nice. And I carried it from here too. I used both handles, so I can tell you that. Now let's talk about the ukulele itself. This is the lightest instrument that I own, so that's why I chose it to travel with. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. This one is also the one that I'm reaching for when I need to do songs with bar chords because it's really comfortable. Please excuse the stickers. I um, I started teaching an adult class and I always use stickers to teach with like C chord and F and G7. So that's what those are there for. So that's not part of the Bondi thing. That's just the Bernadette thing. But anyway, um, this is a really nice ukulele to um, do bar chords with. Like I'm learning Santeria right now and I have to do some C sharp minors and Bs and A and it's just really comfortable. So I'm practicing a lot with this one. Okay, now this is something that you don't have to do, but if you wanted to do this with a ukulele, this would be it. I had one of my artist friends look at different ukuleles that I own and she said this one had the best wood to paint on. So she painted on mine. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I love it. So now not only is it the easiest ukulele to practice on, but it's also my most beautiful instrument that I own because it's been painted on. Look at that. I can't, I'm still, I'm still super in love with it. It's a work of art. Like now it's not just an instrument, it's a work of art. So if you wanted an instrument that you wanted to get painted on, my artist friend said that this had the best wood to do that with, especially because of the finish that it has, she didn't have to treat it beforehand. So there's that. I don't know if that matters to you, but there's that. So if you're looking for a really, really, really great beginner package, a ukulele that is super light, 
a ukulele that you could paint on, or a ukulele that has all of the accessories, or a ukulele that has an awesome gig bag, then this is the one for you. It has the Miss B stamp of approval. I totally recommend it. There is a code for me down in the description below. I They did offer to do, um, what's it called? A commission, is it commission? But I said that as a music teacher, I understand the importance of having funding. So I asked them to donate my commission to their music program because they do have like a charity program where they provide you they provide ukuleles for um music programs in Cambodia so I said just donate my cut of that to that program so yeah if you want to use the the code down below that's where a percentage of your funds will go to so there you have it the Bonda ukulele if you were waiting for a full review on this if you were kind of like should I go for it should I not go for it just know this it's really light so if you pick up a ukulele and it feels like too light for you like oh this is like air like this is one of those but if you want something light because you're going to travel with it or you don't want something heavy on your hands and this will be the right thing for you but just be warned it's super light i hope that you enjoyed this update video and i hope that you will come back to this channel to learn ukulele with me Alrighty, i'll see you in the next one sayonara